Now it's 2.07 in the morning. What a weird hour. What the piano does by the distance and separation of center C, where we actually pass 23 notes before we reach the middle. That if we did reach the middle at number 24, and we go one back and one forward, and in fact we have to go more than one forward, we have to go two forward. So when we go two forward, and we end up on C, D, E, and when we sit on E in the middle of nowhere in a hole in the light, we go back to the left and we are on D. But we still touch the edge of center C. So now we have to jump off of E and go into F. We have D and E9, E and F11, EF Hutton. We must leave the center. So once we leave the center, we always have to go left and go right. Because in the Gematria tree, it's three by four, Mars and Earth. The sandpit for the prism of the mind, where they just took one corner away and replaced it with their own. The metric mind, electronic. So we go, and we were on 24, and we went to 25, which is a Y, which means C24, Y25 means the Y can go back to C and still be on the, on the creation part of the piano or go over to 26, which is now the doghouse. But if we go to 26 and go back to 25, 25 still touches C. So now we have to go to 27, which touches 26, which now touches the dog pound. So if we went one more forward, we were on time heaven, 28 days of the moon. We go back to 27, which is the beginning of how the birth was created in piano by A and G, 1 and 7 and B and G. So now we are at B and G. At number 28 we can go to 27. At number 28 we can go to 29. 29 is the birth. 28 is the moon. And 27 is who we are out of creation of center C. So we jump over from center C going to number 28 and 29 which is ice and the planet. But once we do this move it's the same thing as if we start on the right side of the piano and move left to center C, where we're counting up from the numbers, and the 29th key is center C, if you follow me. So, so by doing this, there's not 56 keys. The only way to get this done is to land on key number 25, which is just one over center C, and then we multiply it by two, we end up with 50. But if we end up with 50, we're still too short on the right side. So we end up going to the 26th key. Now, we're on the 26th key from left to right. That means there's 26 left to go, or there's 27 if you want to match center C. So you have 26 and 27, which is 53. The blowhorns, 53. 44 is in the middle. A, B, C, 4, D. E, F, G, hold on, and do I have this marked over here? Well, first of all, before I go on, I want to thank everybody for all the notes and getting involved. I'm trying to look at everything, but I just found the new page somewhere in Greek, and it had 140 different kinds of messages. I didn't even know what it was, but it was in English, but the site was in French, and it had my name, and I don't know how it works. So I, I sometimes I can't answer you. Sometimes I can't answer you because I don't have a way to get from one area to the next. I'm a little bit bilingual when it comes to this stuff. But I want to thank you. And I just looked up, okay, I just looked up Sapien Tia. Now we got to go Homo Sapien, Ape Pi, Northern Telecommunication, I and E, which is the same as A and I. A and I in Sapia means I go from the first point to the last point. I and E says I go from point A and I go to the center point, the center of where Rubik's Cube is going to be installed. Wherever there's a block, there's a cube. Wherever there's a point, it's an extension of, of one side of the cube or the other side of the cube. We're always in a time zone. If somebody wants to know what time cube is about, is they, it's either A, it's a funneling system. And we pass through it all day long, and depending on what time of the day it is, it's funneling something into us. And it has a drag tail. The drag tail means is as you go out of one area, it sweeps it up. It blows the wind. If the wind is not blowing, they'll make the wind blow so they can get their message across whatever they're putting inside the air. So you go from one area to the next, and as you turn around, 
as you turn around from your island, if you want to put it on the island, this is one of your islands. Here's your tail to your island. This is more or less like time cube. We're all sitting on water. So it, it does this turn. When it does this turn, okay, by the time it finishes this turn, you've already passed three days. And now you're getting back to the beginning. There's portals. We're sitting on water. You don't cross the bridges. What do you think? There's no water under us. And if there isn't exactly, it's because we're tied down to the bottom. We're tied up and tied down. Ask the Jamaicans to go back a couple of thousand years. Where do you think the gunja came from and how they started to smoke it and why the hair is in dreadlocks because they know they tie it up. Not only that, the mental of the mind in dreadlocks says you can't get anything. They take the one strand and they make locks around all of it. That's why they have locks to pass the ship. That's why they have salmon locks. Salmon locks because salmon go up the stream. So we all got to pick up everything that's happening in the world. I don't care if it's lions and bears and zebras. Bear? September, October, November. Bear. But say bear, B-E-R, but the R has an A sound. You say R with the A sound. You say B. You say R. You say B. You say R. I don't know if I put them together. I got a bear. Or I got a rabbi. Or a rabbit's ears hopping around. The wolf ears. We have wolf ears on our head. You go, oh, my head is itchy. Because it's, your, it's, it's looking for that element. When you look at this kippa and you look inside, there's two, four, six. They divide it up into six. You now have a perfectly divided 60 degrees each. They divide it up into four and nine. That's why it's the four card. Oh. The Baltic is number 43. If you go all the way around, if you don't count, go. It's the 44th property. It's the fourth property. It's right now 4433 is the entry from space. The Baltic is a passage. There's also a passage by the Great Lakes. Underneath, underneath, underneath the waters in America is Atlantis buried deep beneath. And all it is, is all it is, is it raises the islands raises the islands, and once it raises the islands, the bridges just fall down. It's an electronic system the way this whole earth was made, and it's creaking all the time, always making noise. Homo sapien, and then I saw something, Hayden to Yolanda. Hayden to Yolanda. Hayden, Yolanda. Hayden is my doctor. Yolanda is the student angel. Hey, Angel Raish. Hey, Den. D-E-N. E-N is the passage we came in. It is 5 and 14. It makes the 19 moon that sits in our mind. They have the 13 and 5, which is the 18. But the only letter in the E family, the electronic family, is the E-N to make that moon, the electronic. North. And not only that, Sting. Sting. thing has just come out. They're making a play or whatever it is. I just want to cry. I have to cry. It's the most amazing thing what's going on in my life. It's so crazy. It doesn't seem anything real. Nothing can be real. It's all impossible. It is not possible. I mean, Yolanda is, is a word because wherever you get the fourth letter, you can always put a Y. Why? Because the fifth letter is the division between four, five, and six, passing over the fifty. Yo, Lan, Da, D, and A is four and one, because God, that's all he did. He went like this. He says, I got the hole to put one. I got a hole to put two. I got a hole to put three. I got a hole to put four, and I got a circle to put the whole bunch of them in. Then I'm going to do the same thing and surround myself all around. He says, no matter what I have to do, he says, all I have to do is take one dot, out of the circle, and I become a ball, and now I'm just sitting in one place. I put the ball back to the circle, and I roll away. Or you put the rudders on it, because we're on three levels. Roulette is, three le is four levels. You put the runners on, and you can run the bottom and move islands if you want. I don't know exactly how it works. The other thing I wanted to show you is, even, is when we talk about the seventh gate. Here's seven gates. Seven. There you go. You got a nice seven, right? Imagine if we had a zero 
and you wanted to put a 7 into it, that's all you see. Imagine if you had a cutoff 7 and you had the octagon and you wanted to put the 7 into the octagon. Well, if you drew it on an angle, this is what it would look like. The Lexus mark. If you have a 7 and you draw it on this angle, the only way to draw the second part of the 7 is to draw this this way. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? And now, all you have to do now is 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4. You see this diamond? Well, this diamond, okay, this diamond is number 8. Number 11. It's supposed to actually come down like this. No, I didn't, I didn't do it right. Whatever it is, this is 8. This is 11. This one over here is 10. This one over here is 13. It becomes 23 and 19. This is Michael Jordan, Michael Jackson. Let's drop it because I, I'm in pain. Here, just look at this little man I drew. Two circles, pi. You just make two eyes. You drag the middle of one eye. You continue the mark. And all you have to do is continue on forever. And this will design forever. This is terrible. I've been in pain for two hours. i got to go to bed. You know when they say... They have that shower, golden shower. What's supposed to rain on the pineal gland? Is it the blood or is it the pee? I'm asking it because I, something's wrong in my stomach. I'm going to be okay. I've had this for 30 years, but it's very bad tonight. Thank you for watching.